Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor of Brian Past Life Pro, and mainly for the fun of it, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get Sonic Ether's V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra Shader to have volumetric clouds enabled. For those of you who are interested, let's get started. Now, obviously, the first thing you're going to need is the shaders pack itself, which you should be seeing on my desktop. Not to mention, you'll need your Minecraft client working with Forge and the shaders mod core, so as to be able to actually play with shaders in the first place. If you don't happen to have shaders installed for Minecraft and would like to know how, then click on the annotation that I have listed above. It should take you to a previous video of mine that will show you everything you need to know to get shaders working for your Minecraft 1.7.2 client. First off, let's extract the files to the desktop. When you've done that, open the folder and click shaders. From here, you'll be bombarded with hordes of confusing text files. <laughs> but don't be scared, just follow my lead. What I want you to do is double click composite.fsh. By the way, Notepad++ definitely helps for this step, so I'd recommend you download it. From here, scroll down to the end of the code or text, or whatever you want to call it, and locate line 660. As you can see, we are presented with this stretch of code. This is what determines whether the volumetric clouds are active or not. So to turn on the volumetric clouds, just remove the two slashes. Save, and close down the file. Though we have enabled the volumetric clouds to be active in Minecraft, our job is not yet complete. The only thing left is to disable the two-dimensional clouds. To do this, double-click composite2.fsh. Same as before, scroll down to the bottom of the text. Look for line 1260, and you should see this piece of code. Add two slashes to the beginning of cloud plane, and you will successfully have disabled the two-dimensional clouds. Save, and close down the file. Now when you activate this shader via Minecraft, this is what you'll see. Some pretty clear volumetric clouds. But before I end this video, I do want to kind of sigh with you and say that these clouds are looking like they're moving kind of fast. Unfortunately, you're kind of right. And they're even running at real time, so speeding them up for FPS's sake will just turn out like this. Not something I'd like. But for those that found this video helpful, I'd urge you to hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyway, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro. Creativity is always a part of my life. That's it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!